Okay, so last time we uh, looked at offset, the offset button, and the offset button here um, it looks like a triangle. Once you open it up, you'll see that five millimeters is the default setting for offset. You can change that to whatever you like, um, and you don't have to type in the millimeters, etc. Every time, offset's really useful for drawing uh, multiple lines in and uh, perpendicular lines, lines that are parallel to another line, etc., etc. So let's have a look at an example. Um, line single. Oh, we'll just throw a line in down here, and that line will change to 2040. We might um, draw a panelled door. So change the line to 2040. Okay. I might use the offset line now. I want a door that's 820 wide. So if I was to put in 820 where it says offset and then press enter and then I bring this little cursor down to either side of the line move it over here so you can see it will actually draw it off the page if I um, put it on the wrong side. But if I put it on that side of the line and I press left click, I've just put in a line that's exactly the same as that line there, exactly one, uh, 820 millimetres over. So that'll be the other side of my door. Okay, now I'll go to single line and endpoint snap a line in between that's 820 mil long. I can offset uh, this line down here or I can just draw it in like that. It's probably easy just to draw it in, um, but we'll, we'll show offset as well. So if I go to offset, if I offset at 820, it's going to be too small. So I need to find what this length is here and it's 2040. So if I went to offset and I typed in 2040 and I press enter, and then I go up to this line here. That'll offset a line exactly 2040 from this line, effectively creating my rectangle. Okay, that's going to be our door. Now here's where offset becomes really helpful. Um, I want to draw in my door styles. So I'll put offset there, and I'll make my door styles 120mm wide each. So I'll type in 1, 2, 0 press enter. You always have to press enter once you type in a number on offset because if I don't press enter it still remembers the last offset setting I had which was 2040. When I press enter it activates that 120 mil or whatever I've typed in. So now I'm going to click on that side of the line to put in another line for my styles on the door. I'm also going to put in a top rail at 120 mil. Now you can see that the line that I have just put in there runs through the style and I don't really want that to happen. So there's two ways I can do this. I can trim by just selecting the end of the line and dragging it to that point there. That's um, what we call a uh, intersecting, intersecting line snap when it has a cross. So I can trim and drag it to that point. Another way I could do that is to, instead of offsetting that line, I can just draw over that line, draw one line there, and now offset that line. So there's a couple of ways about it. Um, let's go down and offset a bottom rail, but this time the bottom rail wants to be about 220 mil. So we'll go 220, enter. So we might do it this way with the trim this time. Just click and drag it back to that intersecting line snap. And there's our door. I want to put a mid rail in this door. So I'll say the top of the mid rail wants to be 800. So we'll go to offset. The last one I did was 220. So 220 mil off 800. And I'm left with 580 mil. So if I type in 580, press enter, go off that line, then I'm 800 from there to the bottom. Now the mid rail I'm going to keep the same as, actually now I'll make it a little bit smaller than the bottom rail, we'll make it 180. Press enter, 
and offset. So offset, we just used offset to draw all these internal lines and it's a nice easy way to draw lines. Um, it really comes um, into its fore when we're drawing kitchens and shop fronts and things like that. Okay, we can also use offset now to um, offset an, a rectangle if we like. So if I wanted to show moulding inside the door here, I might type in 30 mil, press, press enter. If I wanted to offset, I can do that there like that. There's one, two, so I can do it that way. Or I can select that. I can go to offset and I can actually make that a rectangle and offset that as a rectangle. So a few ways to do that, I could draw in a rectangle at that point over that. Now that that's a rectangle, I can go to offset 30 mil and it offsets another rectangle exactly 30 mil from that rectangle. So we've got a rectangle again and we're just going to draw a rectangle over the couple of lines there. Go to offset 30 mil and there we go. There's my moulding. The last thing I need to do with that moulding is just put some mitre join lines in. So once we've done that, we've basically got our panel door drawn. The next um, session I think we'll look at inserting fills, um, changing line thicknesses and colours, and uh, maybe we'll look at uh, inserting different shapes and, and these in another session.